Woo, team, that was a sweaty one. It goes quick though. Grab those weights. I am so excited to do this workout with you. Let's get going. All right, hello team, it's time to get started. Thank you for joining me today for your equipment. Definitely dumbbells, we're gonna be building strength. We're gonna go through our process of some activation, cardio, and then into the strength moves. We'll also finish with core. So make sure you have a wide range of um, weights. I'm looking at, we're gonna have a little bit of a warm up with some front arm raises. So you're looking at fives or eights there, maybe tens for some of you, but it's a warm up. And then we're gonna go into chest press. We'll have rows to shoulder press. So you're looking somewhere um, on the shoulder press, you know, 15, 10 or below. And as for the chest press, you know, let's get into those 15s to 35s. It is strength, so you want a wide range. You want to be able to push. I want you to keep reaching with those weights, seeing what you can do, even if you don't do it the full time. See, just put yourself out there and try it today, okay? So make sure you have a good range. I'm also using a stability ball. I'm going to use that for my chest press possibly today. I'm also going to use it for a warm up, but I'll have windows for you if you need to do it um, from the floor. And then I'm also using my plate weight here because it takes up less room for a deficit reverse lunge feel free to use a stepper if you have one if you cannot get your knee to the floor and do a full reverse lunge you don't even need it so don't worry about it okay we're just going to work that reverse lunge without the deficit so no worries there let's go ahead we're just going to move through the joints today a little bit i have all the activation set up for us um, you can shorten this workout if you want excuse me here let's go ahead and do this right arm and then switch to left you can shorten this uh, workout just a bit by taking out some of the cardio if you just want to focus on the strength. Um, I have abs at the end or a core workout that you could also take off and come back to later. So you have options to shorten these workouts always and still get a really good workout. All right, let's go ahead, switch it here up and over. There you go, good. Just real quick, I just want to open up just a tad bit here. And I want to get those hips too. So let's go ahead with balance. You can hold on if you need to. We're going to bring that knee up, out, and around. Okay, for one, two, three, four, and five. Nice work. Other side, knee up. Bring it way out wide behind you and through. One, two, three, four, and five. Five. Nice work. Let's go ahead and swing around the body for five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Other side. Five, four, woohoo, with balance. Three, two, and one. All right. We're going to get started at the floor with our ball. We're going to go into a reverse hyper using the ball. And we may start with a single leg. You want to lean up onto your hands, and we're going to lift that right leg, release, and then the left. Three, two, and one. Here we go. We're just going to squeeze and lift. A little bit of pressure on the hands if I'm back too far. All right, I'm going to not be able to lift as well. So we are going to lean forward just a little bit, but I don't want you too forward on the ball. Good. Just alternating here, just kind of squeezing the glutes and lifting. Draw that belly button in. I want you, want you to brace while you're on the ball. Good, that's it. All right, we're halfway. So now we're gonna lean forward just a little bit more. And we're gonna see if we can get both feet to come off. This is really hard. So if you're not there, continue to alternate. But I don't wanna bounce. All right, a lot of times I see, woo, a swing. Just wanna squeeze, a small squeeze and lift. There you go, good. Oh, I feel so good. We got it, we got it. Good job. We're gonna go right into our next one here. We're gonna plank. Three, two, and one. And I'm gonna use my ball for this plank. Feel free to do it from the floor. Here we go. Feet are spread just a little bit wider. You can put them together and make this more challenging. I'm gonna spread mine about hip width apart to help myself here. All right, just holding. There's some instability here, making this plank harder. So many ways to progress. A lot of us have our plank down. We'll probably start going, maybe we'll do a challenge where we go longer and longer on our planks. Coming up soon. Here you go. Ooh, one minute here. We're less than 30 already. Breathe, pull in. Ooh, here you go. 
find your strength. If you're feeling lower back, make sure you lift up just a bit. We don't want to sag or we're going to feel that lower back. If you're really good, we can do some little circles. You can draw the alphabet here as well. Three, two, and one. Nice work. We're going to lay back down on the ball. Yay. We're going to come around. We're going to place our hands, uh, palms face up, and we're just going to pull those shoulders back, okay? So we're going to pull the shoulders back, squeezing those shoulder blades together. I do want you to give it a pause there. Make sure we really get that squeeze. What I don't want is for us to lift the body to get there, okay? So make sure we're not moving our trunk or that upper half of our body just here around the shoulder blades, squeezing back. Palms are up, palms are down. And I'm really gonna round out around the ball so I don't have the chance to really lift my body or use it. Good. Inhale with the palms up, exhale with the palms down. Good. One more squeeze for me. Three, two, and one. All right, that feels good. That's turned on. All right, we're going into a reverse lunge with front arm raise. I'm just going to start with fives, just warming up, just moving the entire body here, okay? So I'm going to have a step back with our weight and then just lift in front. Three, two, and one. All right, that's all we're doing. We're gonna reverse lunge and find that front arm raise. If that's difficult to raise up as we reverse lunge, we can reverse lunge, come to the top, find that front arm raise, reverse lunge, come to the top, find that front arm raise. So modify, you do you. All right, what is the quote I have today by Arthur Ashe? Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. I always say that, do what you can. But I love to start where you are, uh, use what you have, right? So some of us have bad knees, all right? We may have to just step back here today and modify. Modifying is okay if it keeps you safe. All right, that's a rest. Nice work. All right, we're moving on. We gotta get a little cardio on. I like to rev up that heart rate. We're gonna feel energized, awake, ready to go. Want that body really ready. We're gonna start with butt kicks. We can make them low. If we want, we can bring them a little bit higher. We have about 30 seconds there. We're gonna move into just a jog then, okay? So bringing our feet up underneath us and we can move around as well today. And then we're gonna do lateral steps side to side, all right? Three, two, and one. Let's just start low on this first one as we rev up. We'll start low on that jog. We might bring it to high knees. We'll start picking it up. We have about three rounds here, I believe. Uh, for this to get us going today. So about four minutes. All right, I think that's fine. You'll get through it. You can stay low. We can bring it high, all right? But we'll start here today. Nice work. Three, two, and one. Find your jog. Let's just go on the spot for this first one, keeping it simple. All right. I have a couple moves today that are a little bit, not, uh, a little bit hybrid. So we'll go ahead, we'll talk about ways to modify that down if we're just not getting the move today, okay? Especially because I want you to use some weight. So if it's not coming to you, we'll just talk about what we need to do. There you go, we're almost there. Three, two, and one. Lateral step, side to side, okay? That's all we're doing, just moving our body side to side. Nothing fancy, all right? If you wanna take it high knees and really get into it, you can or just step, all right? We hardly ever move side to side, so it's good work. Good, 10 seconds. That's all we're doing. We'll take it up next time. Good. That's it, team. Three, two, and while we're back to those butt kicks, I'm gonna take it up a little bit higher now. All right, you can stay with that low version that we just did. All right, there you go. And if you want, we can move Inner space, try to hit those heels towards your hands, your bottom. See if you can get there. One leg does better than the other for me. And I know exactly why. Eight seconds. Woo, there you go. Feel in the sweat come. Three, two, and one. Here we go, we're jogging team. I'm gonna continue that forward back motion. I'm gonna pick the knees up just a bit. Bringing the feet up under 
the midline body of the body here. Woo, there you go. But you can go high knees if that feels better for you, if that's where you are in your space today. Woo, woo, woo. Good. Move those arms. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Lateral steps. Good. I'm going to go more of a shuffle and push off side to side. Just quick, all right? You can do those steps. Good. Quick. Move and quick. You can take it as fast or as slow as you need to. We're moving. We're revving it up. Ooh. Who started their watch? We got it. <laughs> Three, two, get your points. <laughs> All right, we're back to those butt kicks, team. Again, high or low. Maybe you went high last time and now you're just like, whoo, too tired today. Take it low. Keep moving. Keep moving. Good. 13 seconds. Whoa. Breathe through it. Five, four, three, two, one. Jog it out. Good. Forward, back. Move in your space. You can stay on the spot. All right. Good. Whew. I think I'm going to stay on the spot here and just start to run it out. Moving a little quicker, pumping my arms, pulling the elbows back. All right. See what you can do. Hey, Tatum, you said this was strength, not cardio. <laughs> I did. But we're going to have that blood pumping and moving. Woo, into those limbs. Side shuffle. Touch. If you want. Now, let's touch down. Bring it up. Good. But you can stay high and just step, all right? Cardio. Keep it up. I want you to move every day. I want you to walk. All right, but if we really want to build in here with the strength, we have to have a strong heart as well. Three, two, and one. Rest. So when you're out there, maybe you're not into running, take a hill or two. Get that heart rate up. Walk it, but walk some hills. Do some things to get uncomfortable. I see a lot of us are walking now. We're doing well with that. That steady pace, chit-chatting, having fun. But I want you to challenge yourself every once in a while. Just find a hill. It'll do the work for you, okay? <laughs> Not necessarily. All right, we're going into an incline chest press on the ball. I'm gonna grab my 25s. We're gonna have a seat on the ball. We're gonna do an incline. We're gonna walk it out. So our bum is down and our shoulders are high, our head supported, and we're pressing right here. Good, if that doesn't feel good to you, you're at the floor with that chest press. Those windows should be popping up. I know sometimes I make a mistake with those <laughs> and I apologize. All right, good. A little bit of an incline here. Feeling the shoulders and upper chest. Whew. There we go. Three, two, and one. Our goal is to get about 10 reps in there or so, so work on that. See if you're there. I'm gonna grab my weight. Just 20 seconds of rest, not a lot here, team. We're gonna go into that reverse lunge with that foot elevated. And again, I'm gonna go with some 20s as a reference and work a little bit here. Here we go, step it back. All right, we're gonna stay with the one leg for half the time. So I'm stepping back with my right leg for now. We're going to exhaust that other leg and then move on and switch. There you go. Whew. Try counting your reps. See how it goes. Aiming for 10 or so, maybe 12. Good, that's it. If you want to practice balance, you can bring it up. Today, I'm going to work the weight. I just want to find that little deficit and switch. Halfway, let's do it. Right leg stationary, left leg back. That's it. <clears throat> Good job. This deficit, all it does is add more range of motion. Allows us to get a little deeper. Adds a little bit more mobility around the knee and a lot more engagement of muscle fibers. As we go deeper, we're reaching. Whew. 
There you go, good. Again, we don't need it if we're not doing a full knee down lunge. Three, two, and one. <laughs> Woo. All right, we're gonna row to a push press. I'm gonna go with my 20. Some of you will go more, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna row, release, clean it up with a little shrug to your shoulder, a little push press overhead, okay? Three, two, and one. Here we go. Row, release, up to the shoulder, press. Now, if that's just too much to think about today, and we're not quite there, and we need to simplify, I'm just gonna have you work on your row, single arm row, okay? No need to come here if it's too much. I get it, life is busy, we have a lot going on. Some of us are just showing up the first time with me. So if we're not there, don't worry about it. I think you can do it with a little practice. See where you are. Good. And up. Good work. Back down. And up. Good. We're going to switch. Other side. There you go. Might feel a little different on this side, right? <laughs> That's okay. That's why we're doing a little bit of unilateral work today. Make sure that each side can do the task on its own, just as efficient as the other side. Here you go, good. It doesn't feel as natural, but we're gonna row, release, clean to the shoulder with that little shrug, bringing it up, back down, row, release, up, little push press. This weight is heavy from that row, so make sure that if you need it, you get a little dip, okay? That's rest, nice work. Clean to squat, one of my favorites. This will get the heart rate up just a bit. I think I'm gonna try my 30 to start, maybe go up to 35. We're gonna come down here with that hinge, the hips back. We're gonna clean it up to here, just shooting the arms underneath the dumbbell. Find your squat. All right, if that's too much, just do your squat here. You're just gonna gobble it. Three, two, and one, up. Into that squat, good. So we're hinging, our hips are gonna kiss the wall, and then it's back door to the floor, as my husband pointed out the other day. <laughs> all right, kiss the wall with that bottom, bring it up, back door to the floor. All right, you got it. Just think that way, and you'll get this movement. Make sure that that body, that upper back, or entire back is in that neutral spine when those hips are back. Good, let's get a couple more in. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, great job, team. All right, that's a round. We're gonna do two more rounds. I almost put four in. I had four, and at the last minute, I changed it. If you love it, go back to it. Chest press on the ball. Grab those weights, team. It's that incline. Again, if you don't have a ball, don't worry about it. Go to the floor and just do a palms and chest press. All right, good. On these, I want you to think about smooth motions. Try not to pause and rest. If the ball is too much, it takes you too long to get on, it's a hassle, you don't feel safe, you can put your ball against the wall or in a corner as well to help you out. Or just don't use it, don't worry about it today. All right, we want you to get the most out of your strength, so if you're struggling there, just skip it. Good, that's three. Two and one. I went ahead and put the out there, went a little over on that one. All right, team. What's next? Not a lot to remember today. Rear foot up, or foot up, front foot up. Reverse lunge. I'm gonna try 25s this time. We're gonna try to keep working some heavier weight today. Here we go. Left foot back, right foot up if you want, or the other way. There you go. Step it back. I do want you to try to reach out of your comfort. Pick up a little bit of heavier weight today. See what happens. If you're not there, you're not there. But at least you tried. You'll never know. You'll never know unless you try. Ooh, so I tell my kids with eating their vegetables. No. <laughs> Here we go. That's it. Step it back to stand. Nice work, team. Ooh. Good. All right, I think I got about 11 in. That's really good here. Let's switch, team. Oh, that's it. Good. 
Now, if this gets the best of your grip, which it can for me, we can go in that goblet, we can hold that weight up high. I'll show you that after this for that next round if you wanna go up on weight, but the grip is not having it. There you go, three, two, and one. Nice work, so on that team, if the grip gets you, grab your weight up here with that reverse lunge. All right, nice work. It's going fast, we're gonna row to that push press. I haven't done a 25 in a long time. I'm gonna see if I can row here with that single arm. We're gonna row, release, bring it up, push press. Three, two, and one, row, release, up, push. There you go. Nice work. Again, if that heart rate, all of us are at a different spot with that conditioning. If your heart rate is just too high to really push the weight, because now you're just tired and breathing heavy, take more rest in between. Give it more of a pause. Today is about strength. So if you need to, I want you to pause so that you can really work the weight, okay? Don't sacrifice the strength today because the cardio gets in the way or that heart rate here. Whew, halfway, other side, here we go. Not as pretty, but it's there. It can be done. <laughs> All right, good. Whew. That's it, team, good. I usually do this exercise with a landmine, a barbell at the gym. Love the landmines. If you go to the gym often and you wanna see what that looks like, let me know. Maybe I'll do a little post on that for you. And you could try this one there. Woo. Give me one more. Three, two, and one. Yes. Yes, we did it. All right. We're going to move fast through this. All right, we're going to get in and get out today. I'm going to try 35 this time. All right. Some people get really confused about this pull. This little clean and getting under the weights. A small movement, okay? Three, two, and one. Here we go. Hips back. Clean it. Squat. Good. Back wall. Kiss the wall. We're up. Back door to the floor. So we're down. Feet are wide to get there. We have to let that bottom drop in between the hips. Good. They push back behind the hips and then they drop between the hips. Chest up. Chest over the weight. Chest stop. Anything I can do to give you a visual so you can get this movement. Good. Woo. Fast movement. You got it. Come on. That's it, team. We're progressing. Woo. And that's another thing today I wanted to talk about and rest. All right? Progress, not perfection. All right? You do what you can. Focus on the little wins. We're back to chest press. We have to hurry because this is a hard one to get to. I'm going to... Nope, we're gonna stay with that 25 on the ball. Here we go, team. Three, two, and one. You wanna sit on the ball, come forward. Try to get that head and neck at least somewhat supported here. All right, hips are down. Chest is a little higher here for that incline. Again, go to the floor if you want. Don't mess with the ball if you're not there today. Focus on pushing some weight from the chest. Whew. Slow it down on that return. Try not to go too fast. <sighs> Strength there. Three, two, and one. Good job. All right, weights up. Wow, I should have done that fourth round. No, I'm just kidding. You're like, no, Tatum. No, 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 not today. All right, we're gonna step it back here again. I'm gonna try those 25s, even though my forearms are like, no, no, no. Here we go. Right foot up. Let's step it back, left leg. Try to go as low as you can if you're doing that deficit. You wanna get down there, otherwise just don't use it. It's okay. Woo, there we go, team. The sweat came on quick today, but it is a hot one here in Indiana. <laughs> Woo, there you go.
Inhale as you come down, exhale to stand. Good. Hua. All right, switch, halfway. I got a lot in that time, how about you? I was just banging them out here. Well, too quickly, I think. <laughs> there you go, team, come on. Again, back to that progress, not perfection. All right, there are a lot of things you're gonna have to modify in here when we're getting started, or just because of our body types, you know, our past injuries, experiences, whatever it is. But I want you to focus on whether or not you were able to walk a little further. You know, go shopping, spend more time on your feet. Three, two, and one. Pick up that heavy water jug, whatever it is. I wanna know, pop out of that chair. Res before it took you time. All right, row to press, team, row to press. I had those 25s, I'm going for it again. You're doing awesome, hang in there. We're gonna hit a little bit more cardio again and abs at the end, here we go. Row, release, up, press it out, good. Get that push press. This row might be heavier, which it is for me, than I can strict press, barely can. All right, good. Row, release, up, press, nice job. And again, row, release. Now, if that weight feels too heavy to release it all the way back down, use your other hand to help you so you don't feel too much of a pull in that shoulder from here to here. Good. Whew. Good, that's it, that's it. Row, release. Bring it up clean to shoulder, press halfway. Row, release, let's get right into it. Let's get as many reps in on each side. I know some of you like, I know my clients don't like to count. They love a timer. They don't wanna think, I get it. Work in life is enough. All right, so maybe you're not counting, that's okay. But if you are, see what you can do to equal off each side. Whew. Good. Let's get a couple more in if we can. Whew. One more for me, one more. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, great job. Back to that uh, squat. All right, or sorry, deadlift to squat, okay? Clean, <laughs> clean to squat, we'll get it right. Whew. I'll tell you, this is the time, if you need rest, take it, take more, pause. Three, two, and one, hips back towards the wall, kiss the wall, come up, back door to the floor, Woo! there you go. Spread those feet a little wide, so you can let the bottom fall between the hips, behind the hips, between the hips, there you go, team. And up, and down, good. That's it, you got this. And I'm gonna try to keep this going without little pause at the bottom, just a tap and go. It's our last one. Good, couple more. Three, two, I'm going for one more today. And one, rest. Yes, all right. Weights away, whoopsie, oh. How many times does this happen? <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> okay. Clear some space, team. Grab your sip of water. Holy moly. All right, 10 seconds here. If you need more rest, pause. We're gonna go into some cardio. Again, if you're not into it today or you're gonna do cardio later, skip this, go on to the abs. Here we go. What are we doing? Butt kicks. Let's take this one low if that heart rate's high. All right, we're gonna keep moving. We're gonna get those steps. We're gonna stay elevated, but let's not go crazy. All right, unless you're there. Unless you're there, go ahead, bring it up. I'm gonna take it down just a bit on this round. We have three of them, and then we'll pump it back up. It's good to play with that heart rate. It's good to bring it down and back up again. We don't have to stay up here the whole time. That's why I tell you, take extra rest if you need it. Three, two, and one, find that jog. Maybe it's a march right now. Maybe it's a march, we're resetting, okay? I'm gonna march it out with you today. <laughs> That's where I am, all right? If you're that superhero, and I know most of you are, go ahead and take it up into that run, okay? I'm gonna go right here, march it out, Whew. Nice work, that's it, pump those arms out, pull those knees, or elbows back, 
Bring those knees high. All right, let's step it out to the right. One, two, three, left. One, two, three, right. If you have more space, maybe you take it four. All right, I like three. We'll just take it low here with the steps. Good. That's it. I'm feeling better. I don't know about you. Ah, leveling out here a bit. Heart rate's still elevated. But I don't feel like, I feel like I can find that breath, okay? So pay attention to those cues for yourself. Know your body. All right, we're going back to those butt kicks. Now I'm gonna take it high. I'm gonna try. If I'm not there today, I'm gonna switch it up. All right, here we go, team. We're working. It's a little bit of everything today. We had that good strength. Now, I do suggest, if you wanna spend a little bit more time on that strength, go back and do a fourth round, always. You can do more rounds. You can do them by reps versus time on your own. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Jog it out. And move it forward and back. Good. I'm not doing high knees. You can do high knees and lift. I'm just really jogging. Bringing those feet right up underneath. More underneath the body, not behind at the butt. Whew. So the knees are coming up in front. But they're still down for me. <clears throat> Whew. Three, two, one. Laterals. Good. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. Maybe we get a little lower to make this a little bit higher intensity. Good. That's it. We'll bring this heart rate back down as we head to the floor today for some lower back strength and ab strength. Three, two, and one. Good job. All right, back to number one. Here we go. If you got it, stay high. If not, and it raised too, that heart rate is just too much. You're just huffing and puffing here. And you can barely sing to that favorite song over there. Stay here. Woo! Good. 15 seconds to go. Keep working. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good jog. I'm going to jog in place here and try to go a little faster. Good. Woo, that's it. You can keep marching. You might go easy forward and back, but we're moving. We're moving. It's all that matters, team. It's all that matters right now. Unless you're training for something in particular, I just want you a little uncomfortable, okay? A little uncomfortable reaching just a little bit today. Three, two, and one. Laterals. I might tap down and go a little deeper. You do you, okay? Do what you can, not what you can't. All right? Use what you have. What is it? Start where you are. All right, we're all showing up. Some of us have been here for years. Some of us are just getting started. Woo! Good. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right. High rate's high, I know. All I have is 30 seconds here because I'm trying to get us in and out. Feel free to take a minute or two with a pause, but don't leave, okay? Stick around. Finish this core. I'm gonna use my ball. You can do this stuff from the floor. Actually, the first one, yeah, we're gonna stick with the ball. You can go from the floor by looking at my windows. What well, back extensions and a crunch on this crunch. We're just gonna roll up and down, putting pressure on the ball. All right, all right, on this one. Oh, did we have one more? No, we're good, exercise one. Sorry, got lost there in the moment. Uh, I have about five minutes on the clock. We're gonna go 30 crunches, 30 back stitches. We're going to reps now. I don't do this a lot in here because I worry about getting off track and off time, but we're gonna do this. So I've got 30 crunches from you, either using that window that you saw or here with the ball. We're gonna roll up, giving that ball pressure. Two, so just push it into the legs each time you crunch up. Three, a little press with the hands. Four, start underneath a little bit. Five, down at those hips and belly. Six, and press up. Seven, good. Exhale, eight, draw everything towards, the uh, rib cage towards the uh, spine. 10, I hope I'm on count. 11, as I coach, this is another reason I do 12. 
13, 14, 15. I'm gonna count down with you because that's mentally great for me. 15, I hope it is for you too. 14, it's all about mental games in here. 13, and the best way though. 12, good, push. 11, roll it up. 10, there you go. 9, 8, draw down. 7, blow that air out. 6, we're almost there. 5, 4, Three, two, woo, and one. Nice work, team. All right, come on up. You can use the wall on this one and put your feet at the wall if that feels good. Helps you kind of stabilize. You can keep your knees down as well at the floor. All right, I'm gonna come out here and try to balance a little bit through this. But we could have our knees down if your ball is small enough. They come in different sizes. I think mine's a little bit of a medium to small, small to medium. Um, otherwise, feet are out. I'm gonna squeeze those glutes and draw in tight, try to stabilize on the ball. But you can use that wall with your feet there. All right, we're gonna dive into the water. Lord knows I would love to be in the water here right now <laughs> and reach back, <laughs> back out, good. Here and up, squeeze, good. Squeeze those glutes, draw in. This is three, we're going to 30 team. We're swimming, we're kind of like a turtle. Four, <laughs> five. Six, you don't have to go too far on that lift. Seven, a lot of people really wanna arch back just a little. Seven, oh, we might be at eight. Eight, keep your count there in case I'm off. Nine, round out, flex, extend. 10, flex, extend. 11, good, that's it. Squeeze those glutes tight. 12, they'll help that back. 13, if it's too much, don't go to 30. 14, do the reps you can do. This might be your stopping point, 15. Let's go count down, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, squeeze those glutes, draw in, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, don't work through pain. If it's starting to hurt, stop. Two, some of us have some of the stamina here in that back, some of us don't. All right, 20, 20. Woo, here we go, same thing. Here we go, we're gonna crunch it. Either, any way you want here, get a crunch in. One, two, three, four, Five, push those hands into the ball. Six, draw the belly button towards the floor. Seven, eight, blow that air out. Nine, 10, counting down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, whoo, two, and one. Good job, come on up. We're gonna pop it here into that back extension. Here we go. Dive into the water, bring it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and 10, good. 10, counting down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 10 and 10 and we're done, 10 and 10. Short, cool down today, I apologize. We're running out of time, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Yeah, all right, last set of 10 here, team. 
Kudos to you. You made it through. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whew. All right, we're at the floor. We're going to stay at the floor, all right? And actually, we could do a little uh, stretch on the abs here. You can lay down on the floor and do the same thing just from the floor, reaching long, toes and feet, um, toes and feet, arms and legs, like reaching towards each wall on your back. Otherwise, if you have a ball, let's go ahead, if you feel stable on your ball, and just kind of extend here, do a little back extension. Let all those abs stretch out after that. That back feels good. There you go, you can bring your arms to the side, out to the side if that feels good, or overhead. Let's find our breath. Whew. Nice work, all right. Here we go. Let's continue our stretches with only a minute 20. We're gonna do my favorite two. If we have time, bring that right toe outside that left knee and go ahead and rotate. Knee crosses the body, open up wide, push the knee to the floor. Try to get both shoulder and knee to the floor. Big breaths. Great job, team. I want you to think about today, right now while you're breathing, what are your little wins? What wins have you had working out? Maybe this is your first day working out. Woo, that's a doozy. You showed up though, you did it. You did what you can maybe, okay? Other side here. Maybe you were able to walk three miles yesterday or two miles instead of just one. Or maybe you're less winded. Maybe your rest time, the 30 seconds is enough for you now. You used to need more. Now you need less, less, woo. I don't know what's going on in this head lately. Too much, too much for sure. Maybe, let's bring that right knee in. We don't have a lot of time. Just bring that in, squeeze, hug it out. Maybe you were able to go up and wait. I had a comment about that, that they're able to do more weight, which is fantastic. We're getting stronger, okay? We're able to push. We're feeling uh, more confident in that. Woo, three, two, and one team. That's about it for today. Not a lot of time for that stretch, but a good workout. I know I have a sweat angel going on here. Thank you again for showing up. I hope you're enjoying these workouts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, maybe a super thanks here and there to help us buy new equipment and uh, make these uh, videos a little bit more productive. I'd like to add a window uh, to each exercise eventually, but right now we're a little limited. So I hope what we're doing is helping. Talk to me if you are looking to you know, change some things about fueling, um, whether you're needing to get more steps in and walking, whatever you're struggling with, let me know. Maybe I can be of assistance or help, or even if you comment, somebody else has uh, been in your same place and they have an idea for you. So um, share your thoughts, uh, share your comments. Uh, let's build this community that supports each other, all right? I look forward to seeing you next time. Keep up the hard work. Just do what you can. Not every day is going to be the same. You're doing a great job. And remember, you're doing way more than most people at this time, all right? And the idea is just to live a long, healthy life where we can experience life, right? So just keep moving and it will happen. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.